You know, it's tough enough when you come here and you play Division Three sports and you don't get a lot of recognition. And it's even more tough when you play a sport like soccer at, Divi at a Division Three school and you really, nobody gives a chance to know who you are. But these kids, just like Division One athletes, work just as hard and they really do it, not for money or anything else, but just for the love of the game. And here at Drew University, we had a chance to talk to some players and coaches on their upcoming 2017-2018 campaign. I'm here at Drew University, and I am with the head coach of the Drew University's men's soccer team, Lenny Armand. Lenny, thank you very much for joining me. My pleasure. We have certainly a gorgeous day out here today for a very long training session. What do you expect out of your players during this training session today? Um, what we are doing is working on some tactical passing patterns first beginning and then then we're going to work on on some possession finding target players uh, on the side and then transition to a little 11 v 11 working on a uh, 352 against a 442 now certainly this is the beginning of, of what should what you probably should hope to be a very long season what is your main goal coming into the 2017-18 campaign well well like our first goal as a team is to win our league our conference is the most important and that will take care of the NCA in getting a tournament bid but again the first thing is the first game on Friday at at two o'clock our first goal <laughs> So you certainly have a lot of tough opponents this year. Is there anybody in particular you're looking forward to most to playing this season? Um, University of Scranton won our conference last year. So they're definitely the favorite to win our conference. And then we're also playing Haverford, who's ranked uh, nationally, who's very good. You certainly have a lot of players coming in this year, a lot of players with an incredible amount of talent. Are there any guys you're expecting to look in, to come in and uh, hopefully step up this year? Um, Andy Anu, who who was a regional all like American last year, expecting a lot of things from him. We do have a transfer from from University of New Mexico in Aiden Surhat, whose brother is also playing for us in the back for us. So we're expecting some big big things from them, and also Eddie Eddie Martinez, our center midfielder, is going to be a senior captain. Expecting a lot from him also. Well, Coach, thank you very much for your time today, and good luck this year. Thank you very much. I had a chance to speak with Alan McClintock, who is the assistant head coach of the Drew University men's soccer team, and we talked to him about his expectations for the 2017-18 season. I'm here with Alan McClintock, the assistant head coach of the Drew University men's soccer team. Coach, thank you very much for joining me today. No problem. Thanks for having us. Now, you obviously have a long two-hour training session today. What, what do you want to see out of your players today? Um, today we're preparing for a game on Friday, so we're mm -hmm. going to play Mount Ida. So today we're just basically going to go through some technical stuff. Um, we're going to keep the ball a little bit and then go through some tactical items that we're preparing for the game uh, this coming Friday. Now, going into that game Friday and especially throughout the entire year, what do you expect or what would you like to see your players uh, do very well at this year? Well, we're trying to merge a lot of new players into the squad mm -hmm. and we're trying new formations. So we've got a lot of stuff going on this year and a lot of good players coming in. So we, we obviously want them to try and play and be ready to play and peak at a high, have very high level as quickly as possible. Do you expect your team to make a much longer run this year and definitely, you know, create a lot of buzz around yeah. around the soccer world? Yeah, we had uh, we had a decent run last year. To mm -hmm. be fair, uh, we just fell, uh, you know, and late in the stages. Mm -hmm. But we just we know where we went wrong and what we can fix. And I think that's a good thing. Are there any players on your team this year you're really looking forward to seeing performing? Yeah, a, a lot of uh, returners and a, a lot of freshmen, but um, we just we want to make sure they're they're all healthy and ready to go. So, but there's some exciting attacking players on the on the team. And what's your guys, hopefully, what, what is your final goal for the end of the season? We want to go all the way. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> well, Coach, thank you very much for your time and good luck no this year. Thank you very much. Cheers. We also had a chance to talk to one of the leaders of the soccer team this year, Eddie Martinez, and what he would like to see out of himself as well as the team for this upcoming season. I'm here with Eddie Martinez, the center midfielder for the Drew University men's soccer team. Eddie, thank you very much for joining me today. Yes, sir. So, looking at your, your squad this year, are um, what are you looking forward to most this upcoming season? Uh, just looking forward to working with these guys. I think we have a good uh, group of guys coming back, as well as some freshmen that have uh, 
showed showed good things this preseason. So I think we can glue those things together. We can finally uh, reach for that conference that we want. So that conference championship. So that's yeah. what I'm excited about. Now, for you personally, what, what do you expect out of yourself, or what would you like to improve going into this year? I expect myself to leave this team again uh, for another year and for my last season just to kind of control the midfield, dictate the game, and make sure I put my, my teammates in good positions to make ourselves win games. And that's what I pride myself on, just helping out the team. So, Looking at your schedule, is there any players or teams going into this year that you're really excited to uh, face? Yeah, I think, I'm, I think we're all excited to just get back into conference play. Mm -hmm. Uh, just get back onto Scranton and make them just repay for last year's short playoff run. So that's that's the guys who I who I got in mind right now. <laughs> now I'm gonna see you a two part question. The first part of the question is that what as a team, what is the what is the ultimate goal, and then for you, what is the ultimate goal? As a team, the ultimate goal is to win a landmark conference mm -hmm. championship. And for myself, um, as long as we really achieve that, I mean, hopefully in achieving that, I will get something in return, but I don't need that. I just want to win the championship before I get out of here. That's it. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time and good yeah, luck no this year. Yeah, thank you. It's not just the forwards and defenders getting ready for the year. The goalies are also putting in a lot of work as they prepare for a very, very long and hopefully prosperous season. I'm here with Cesar Varientos, the Drew University men's soccer team goalie coach. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Now, being a goaltending coach, what are you look for? What are you looking for most for your goalies this upcoming season? Uh, mainly, right now, we, we we're a team that likes to build from the back. Mm -hmm. So we uh, we need our keeper to be pretty, really, actually, pretty good with the feet. Uh, so we try to work as much, you know, a lot of agility, a lot of passing, a lot of distribution, mm -hmm. because that's the that's what we're looking for. You know, we need to be able to play out of the back and, and uh, you know start the attack. When you show your goalies film, do you normally use a lot of um, film from MLS goalies or just all goalies in general? We actually use our own film. So oh, okay. what we do is I try to film as many uh, uh, as practice sessions as we can, mm -hmm. and then I share those videos, and we uh, you know, we go over them, try to work on little things that where, where we make mistakes and move on from there. What, what is the number one thing you want to see your, your goalies do this year? Like, what's, what's your number one trait? Uh... I mean, one thing. Well, we'd like to uh, at least get a minimum of 10 shutouts. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's that's the number one thing. You know, you bring shutouts, I mean, say we have a chance to win a game. Mm -hmm. So that'll be the main thing that, you know, we look forward. Uh, one stat that I don't want to lead is the save percentage. That's mm -hmm. one thing we don't want to lead. That means we're giving up too many shots. Mm -hmm. But uh, if we, uh, you know, we get a couple shutouts, you know, hopefully 10, uh, I'll be happy with that. This last question is a two-part question. Number one, what is your personal goal for not just the goalies, but for the team in general? And what is, what is your, what is, let me rephrase the question. What is your personal goal this year? And then what is your, the team's main goal this year? Well, for me, it would be, well, I, I, we need to win the conference. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's, the, that's the goal. Um, I, think, I think that's the goal for the team. Um, but I think that's the main thing for us, win the conference. And, you know, I think that, yeah, that, that, it answers both questions. That's definitely the goal that we want to mm -hmm. accomplish, and uh, you know, make it to the NCAs. You know, that's hopefully always the goal too. So, hopefully, that happens this year. Coach, thank you very much for your time, no and good luck this year. Thank you very much. Appreciate. It. I'm here with Stefan Lucchiato, a goalie for the Drew University men's soccer team. Thank you very much for joining me. No problem. Now, for you personally, what are you looking forward to this upcoming year? Me personally, uh, looking to stay healthy. Uh, last year I had four good games, then I had an injury to my finger, and then I had to get surgery on my elbow. So, biggest thing is staying healthy, and also for the rest of us too. Now, obviously, you talk about staying healthy. What, what is what is one way that you're going to try to do the best to stay healthy this year? Um, just being smart, um, not going too hard in practice, and just mm -hmm. doing something that's idiotic, but making sure working on technique, technique. Uh, technical stuff and whatnot, and just making sure staying hydrated, healthy, eating right. I mean, we're a very healthy team, very active. We all hang out together. We always, we're always doing stuff together. So, I feel like as long as we stay healthy, we can go really far this year. How do you feel the chemistry of the team's going so far? Um, team chemistry. We have a we have a good family here, and everybody likes to get along. Everybody likes to hang out. We always have the freshmen over everywhere. Um, we have a barbecue that we do every time we mm -hmm. all come in, so it's a lot of fun. And honestly, the seniors do a really good job, as also the juniors. 
for having like a opening arm, mm -hmm. welcoming home for all the freshmen. So I feel like they're really opening up to us, learning who we are, we're learning who they are, and everything just flows from there. Now what is your what is your main goal or what was what would be like your main result at the end of the season? What would you really look forward to or be your dream scenario? Um, finally bringing home that landmark car, landmark conference. He hasn't been here since what oh one oh two, so that would be a a great achievement for us after so many years of it going to Catholic or whoever, whatever other school. So that's the biggest goal. Well, thank you very much for your time and good luck this year. The Rangers are already off to a great start this season as they post a 3 0 record and are coming off their September 6th victory over Fairleigh Dickinson University Florham by the final score of 9 2. Up next, the men's soccer team begins a two-game Brick City Classic, first against Elmhurst and then against Whitman, and hopefully try to build with that momentum and move on to the national tournament. From Drew University, I'm Neil Villapiano.